And the way to use stroke a little bit better is to create your own mask paths. And when it reveals, it's going to reveal the way that you drew your mask path. So, like, oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I have the wrong thing clicked on. I'm just going to delete out the old one, old outlines. So here we go. We got this. Now you want to draw in here. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we can adjust our brush size to be able to write these on. So there's one. And then click off and then click back on to get a new mask. Oop. I never drew my A's like this, so. I wonder what the best way is. Maybe like this. And there we go for that one. So I'm going to finish out making these masks real quick. I'll show you what they look like. And um, then I'll show you how to use the uh, write on how to use the stroke to write on the letters so I'm gonna pause it and see you guys in a second alright so now I'm back and I have my masks in there and I drew them the way that I think I would draw the letters now I'm going to apply my effect onto here generate stroke and if you don't if you want to get quickly to where your effect is, it'll always have the last effect up here. You can click on that and it'll do the same thing. So now I'm going to check all masks and I'm going to hit strokes sequentially. So it's going to make your masks, uh, make your strokes in the way and reveal your masks in the way that you drew them. Now, let's change the color to whatever we want. Let's do this just do this blue we need to increase our brush size so that it covers up all of the letter and we may need to adjust some of our masks so that they uh, cover all the letter up there we go this one might need an another might need to add in more points it might happen Just change it up like that. There we go. Now this S might need some more points. Now the uh, mask or the brush size doesn't have to look perfect on these. Oops, I don't know why it's doing that. I don't want it to do that. You just want to, if you just want to, uh, just select them to move them, move them around, and don't don't need to add any more points. Just use your selection tool, and it looks like pretty much everything's covered up. So there we go. We got that. Now if we come to reveal original image, move our end back here, now you can see how it's, it's going to uh, work a little better. So hit end, let's keyframe it. And I'll turn off my masks and now we can ramp preview it. Maybe it'll work if I click on it. So now it's rendered out. And I don't know why it was giving me such a, a problem, but here we go.
So that's how that works. You can see there might be a, a couple, uh, there might be some problems with uh, extra line showing. You just have to adjust your mask so it looks uh, nice. But that's how you uh, write on letters with the stroke. So, I mean, that's the last thing that I want to show you. That's uh, all for, for uh, this tutorial. Thanks for watching this one. And hopefully you can use your stroke like a boss now. And just impress the heck out of your clients. So I want to thank you guys for watching again. And see you in the next tutorial, which is going to be awesome too. See you guys later.